But Isaiah 56, 7 says, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. In Joel, it says, let the bridegroom come out of the bridal chamber. It's time for us to mobilize, and it's time to stand. And there is an anointing in New Jersey to mobilize. You have the mobilization anointing for prayer and spiritual warfare. So if you don't do it, who will? Come on, listen to me. This is a challenge for us. We're moving into the year 2024. And the Lord said to me, it's time for 24-7. Matthew 24-7, nation will rise up against nation and kingdom against kingdoms. Famines, passions, earthquakes in various places. This is not the end, but at the beginning of the end. And one of the leaders told me, uh, the young, the youth campus leader said that we are moving into the 2247th year of America. 24-7. It's going to take 24-7 prayer. And I want to tell you, it's not hard to have it. You need 24 people that pray an hour a day. 24-7. You know, we don't have to have everybody come up and all these people, but I am challenging you to mobilize people, and it doesn't have to be just this church, till we see that New Jersey gets covered 24-7. And America. Operation Psalm 91. Psalm 91 is supposed to be read in case of demonic attack. In the history of our Uh, 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 of the wars, we know that our generals, some of them had their troops pray Psalm 91 every morning out loud, and they came out without a scratch. God is able. Listen, the word works if you work the word. I'm going to say it again. The word works if you work the word. So we're in a Psalm 24 season as we're coming into it. Psalm 20, Matthew 24, 7, nation rising up against nation. So, um, Psalm 2, 8 says, why do, uh, ask for nations, but in Psalm 2 it says, why do the nations rage? The nations are raging right now. Matthew 24, 8 talks about the beginning of sorrows. Listen, we cannot be ignorant of what is happening. What will happen in America and what we're seeing the beginnings of with in Orange County, did you know Christian couples in Orange County do not believe that in LBGTQ and their children, will, they ask them not to participate in some of the stuff. Do you know Child Protective Services took their children away in America? Don't think it's not coming to your door. Either the church is going to rise up now or we're going to have to go underground. I know this isn't a shouting message, but I would be remiss if I didn't tell you the truth. We know it's the truth. But I want to tell you something. You are called for such a time as this. God knew you would be born now. God knew that you would be alive. And God knew that you had the anointing and the strength and everything that you needed to turn the battle at the gate. They are not going to have our nation on our watch. We say no. The church is not going to have to go underground. They're not going to arrest us if we say, you can't transition my 10-year-old and not tell me about it. You're, they're, going to, they're going to school, and they're putting them, and they're saying, you're not a boy, you're a girl, and letting them go in closets and wear other sex clothes and then changing before they go home to their mama and daddies. It's time for the mama bears to arise. It's time for the papa bears to arise. It's time for us to say, no, no, no. Don't mess with our kids, I'm telling you. 
Don't mess with our children. Matthew 24 is a roadmap for this hour. The raging of nations, tribulations, betrayal, lawlessness. I had been tweeting, uh, you know, on X, and I had sent, I got back from Israel, and I said, mob violence, um, the, there were demonstrations, riots will become mobs, will become violent. I, and I kept sending out, this is what you're going to start seeing. Well, look what happened to Grand Central Station in New York. We went there yesterday just and prayed. I mean, we're standing in our hotel watching the PLO, uh, the Palestinian, I mean, not PLO, but the pro-Palestinian marches go by, you know. And, and, but knowing what I know now about what is behind a lot of this, I mean, I was saying every person, you know, but what's behind a lot of this, I realized that our children have been propagandized and we paid for it. Lord, cut off the money tap. Cut off the funding to any school. Shut it down. This anti-Semitism is working with the spirit of lawlessness and anarchy. Behind every racism, there's still racism we're fighting. The root of racism is anti-Semitism, of any kind of racism. You know, yesterday we went to the public library, so beautiful in New York, just to take a look. And I, I look at all the Jewish people that gave that to the cities, all the monies that went there. I said, where would we be without the Jews? Come on, I mean, they, you know... 